The wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have officially been about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex making it official for all the world to see, but it was still a chance for A-listers to show off their finest fashions on the world stage as well. While the majority of the lucky guests nailed their outfits on the big day, others left a lot to be desired. Let's take a look at the fashion highlights and faux pas from the royal wedding, starting with the best of the best. Meghan Markle it's only fitting that the best dressed of the day should be the bride. Meghan Markle donned an elegant Givenchy gown, which was created by Claire Waite Keller, the first-ever female artistic director of the French Fashion House. Markle received kudos for the dress's simple structuring and clean lines because it allowed much of the focus to belong to her stunning veil and the decadent filigree tiara, which was once owned by Queen Mary. Her Royal Highness certainly lived up to all the expectations on her big day, and then some. Amal Clooney International human rights attorney Amal Clooney, who sports none other than George Clooney on her arm, has been serving up stellar looks for years, and the royal wedding was no exception. The Lebanese-British barrister looked like a ray of sunshine in a goldenrod dress designed by fellow human rights advocate Stella McCartney and a Stephen Jones hat adorned with a sequin mini veil. She may not have upstaged the bride, but she sure came out ahead of just about everyone else with this ensemble. Serena Williams Sports legend Serena Williams enjoyed her own fairy tale last year when she married Reddit founder Alex Ohanian, so the tennis ace was delighted to support her longtime friend Meghan Markle as she said her own I do to Prince Harry. For the occasion, Serena strolled up to Windsor Castle with a cascade of beautiful braids, a Bulgari necklace, a pastel pink Versace number, and a boldly whimsical fascinator. Game, set, match. Priyanka Chopra Indian actress Priyanka Chopra consistently finds her way onto the best dress list. And it's because the former Miss World simply has great instincts about her style choices. Case in point, her sophisticated lavender lunch suit by British fashion legend Vivian Westwood. Like many of the guests, she visited Philip Tracy's atelier to pick up a matching fascinator, and she completed her look with Chanel makeup that perfectly matched her berry aesthetic of the day. She may have been reeling from the news of her show Quantico being cancelled, but she looked as unbothered as ever on Markle's wedding day. Prince Harry his military service is an important part of Prince Harry's history, so it was little surprise that he opted to walk down the aisle in full uniform. The new Duke completed his career in the armed forces in 2015, but decided to don his dress uniform on his wedding day anyway. The uniform is one of 20 worn by the Cavalry Regiment and was tailored at Dajan Skinner on London's famous Calville Row, a neighborhood renowned for tailoring. His brother and best man Prince William looked equally sharp in his own uniform, and so did Prince George and the rest of the Page Boys, who were fitted with miniature versions of the military garb, each with the wearer's initials embroidered in gold on the shoulder straps. Queen Elizabeth II The Queen's famous love of bright colors was on full display for her grandson's wedding day as she sported an eye-popping Stuart Parvin floral print dress that combined limes, lemons, purples, and shades of gray. She completed her summery look with a lime green silk tweed coat and a matching Angela Kelly hat decorated with handmade crystals and pearls from Lucy Price. That green color symbolizes rebirth and growth, and with so many royal firsts being achieved, the shade may have been her way of signaling her approval of the happy couple, even if it wasn't always obvious during the ceremony. Kate Middleton the Duchess of Cambridge just gave birth to her third child, Prince Louis, in April, but Princess Kate was still at the top of her game when she showed up to her brother-in-law's big day. Middleton donned the same pale yellow Alexander McQueen number designed by Sarah Burton that she'd worn on two previous public occasions at Princess Charlotte's christening and again at a birthday bash for Queen Elizabeth II. Kate Middleton has been known to recycle her garbs for even the most storied occasion, and in this case, she may have been dressing down to assure all attention went to her new sister. Oprah Winfrey America's own pseudo-royal Oprah Winfrey reportedly had to change her wedding outfit at the last minute, after realizing her white frock would be perhaps a little too bridal for the occasion. Luckily, she'd flown to England with a backup that still allowed her to stun in the sun. The legendary television mogul arrived at St. George's Chapel looking typically glam in a blush pink Stella McCartney dress with a delicate lace trim and an eye-catching hat designed by Philip Tracy. She may not have been giving out cars to the crowd of wedding watchers, but she was still an instant favorite all the same. Pippa Middleton Royal sister Pippa Middleton was an accidental attention grabber at Princess Kate's wedding to Prince William, thanks to the way her dress displayed her derriere. At Harry's wedding, though, she styled herself in a much less body-hugging floral dress by British fashion house The Fold. The silk design was well-suited for the warm weather of the occasion, and Middleton topped off her look with a pair of nude suede Jimmy Choo Lancer pumps and an understated fascinator by Jess Collette. Granted, there were some who'd later compare her look to a soft drink, but the socialite looked content and comfortable. Doria Ragland 
As the only member of Meghan Markle's family in attendance, mother of the bride Doria Ragland had to represent to the fullest. Ragland was very close to the action, fighting back tears as her little girl entered the British royal family in style, though mama was looking rather stylish herself. The 61-year-old wore a floral embroidered pistachio green dress and matching coat designed by the creative directors of Oscar de la Renta, Fernando Garcia, and Laura Kim. The Suits Cast Markle's former Suits co-stars turned out in full force for her big day, and they definitely brought some Hollywood flair to the occasion. Markle's TV husband, actor Patrick J. Adams, was there in a simple but effective three-piece suit with a red tie and white pocket handkerchief. Abigail Spencer, Sarah Rafferty, Rick Hoffman, and Gabriel Macht were also in attendance, though it was Gina Torres who stood out from the crowd in a white fedora and bright print dress from Greek fashion house Castorelos. The Bridesmaids as per royal tradition, Markle's bridesmaids were all children, including her new niece, Princess Charlotte. The three-year-old took her duties in tiny stride, smiling and waving enthusiastically to the adoring public as she arrived at St. George's Chapel with her mother. The rest of the party was made up of the children of her and Harry's friends, and all little ladies behaved impeccably and looked beyond adorable in their cute dresses, which were designed by Claire Waite Keller in the Givenchy Haute Couture Atelier in Paris. Marco also had Keller craft six unique pairs of white leather aqua azura shoes as keepsakes for the kids, each monogrammed with the bridesmaid's initials and the date of the wedding. Zara Tyndall The daughter of Princess Anne and wife of English rugby star Mike Tyndall, Zara Tyndall was reportedly about eight months pregnant at the wedding. Though she looked fabulous from head to toe, her baby bump was perhaps her best accessory. Zara opted for a chic teal coat and matching dress from Claire Miss Giovanni. Of course, she made more headlines for her gaping reaction to Bishop Curry's fiery sermon and her husband's affectionate belly rub than her gown, but that doesn't mean her getup wasn't right for the occasion all the same. Victoria Beckham they're not actual royalty, but the Beckhams might as well be. Soccer star David and his pop singer-turned-fashion designer wife Victoria wore similar color schemes to the event. Their expressions, however, certainly didn't match. Victoria was mocked by television viewers for looking absolutely miserable on her way into St. George's Chapel, while David donned a massive smile as he waved to onlookers and even stopped to pose for photos. There was nothing technically wrong with what Victoria was wearing, but since it was strikingly similar to her choice for William and Kate's nuptials, some perceived it as a bit lazy. Cressida Bonus and Chelsea Davey Not one but two of Prince Harry's ex-girlfriends attended his wedding. Actress and model Cressida Bonus appeared to be having a jolly old time as she floated onto the grounds in a colorful rainbow dress and a pink feathered fascinator. Meanwhile, Chelsea Davey's delight about the day may be up for debate. The Zimbabwean national looked happy and relaxed as she approached St. George's Chapel, but once inside, she struggled to hide a stony expression. She still looked good from the neck down. Her short navy dress with a one-button cape and a matching navy headdress was demure, and she accessorized it with a black quilted Chanel handbag and nude strappy sandals. Charlotte Riley she was all smiles when she turned up at Windsor Castle with her actor husband Tom Hardy, but actress Charlotte Riley must have been a little nervous about bumping into Kate Middleton, since she portrayed the princess in a TV movie last year. Perhaps that's why she chose to hide behind a black veil and tilted Philip Tracy fascinator. She completed her slightly off-season look with the vampire's wife's silk Cinderella dress, the fashion house founded by Susie Cave. Idris Elba British actor Idris Elba isn't particularly close to the bride or groom, but he was invited to their wedding because of his connections to Prince Charles's charity. Elba and his fiancée Sabrina arrived at Windsor Castle bright and early, though they didn't exactly get the event off to a great start in terms of fashion. Elba played it smart but safe in his navy suit, but his fiancée came across a little underdressed and too matchy-matchy in her Gucci cardigan. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall while Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, may have finally earned the approval of her mother-in-law, much of the public has never really forgiven Camilla for interfering with Prince Charles's marriage to Princess Diana, and this was reflected in the reaction to her royal wedding outfit. The Duchess went all out with a pink silk asymmetrical coat dress from designer Anna Valentine and a feathered Philip Tracy hat, and the latter was roundly mocked on social media. Princess Beatrice and Eugenie At William and Kate's wedding, Princess Beatrice and her younger sister, Princess Eugenie, made a splash with their ultra-zany hat choices, but this time the two toned it down almost too much. For Cousin Harry's wedding, Princess Beatrice opted for what amounted to a glorified headband to accompany her Blue Roxanda Viola number, and absolutely no one could accuse her of being eccentric. Meanwhile, Eugenie wore what appeared to be a Jackie Kennedy-inspired light blue Gainsbourg dress. The two might have been trying to avoid the negative attention they received at the last royal wedding, but they still found themselves among the worst dress of the day by playing it way too safe. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!